NASA was founded July 29, 1958 with the intention to provide research into problems of flight within and outside the Earth's atmosphere and for other purposes. This video is not to prove or debate the shape of the Earth, but solely to examine the information and media released by NASA. NASA's budget for 2021 is $23.3 billion. That money comes out of my pocket and yours. We will be examining the consistency in NASA's narrative as well as the media they release to the public to assure we the people's tax dollars are being spent wisely. For $23 billion, we expect NASA to deliver factual statements and information as well as being completely transparent in their operations. Any faults we find or inconsistencies we will bring to light as well as hold NASA completely accountable. This is Auditing NASA. First, we will examine the 1969 lunar landing. This was originally aired on CBS and called the landing on the moon. Apparently, we have a camera already on the moon capturing the spacecraft landing with some nice B-roll angle behind some moon rocks. Unfortunately, the actual contact where the craft hits the ground is not shown. The craft itself looks like something out of a third grader's play at school. It's comparable to an old furnace with ductwork, aluminum foil, and some added construction paper. Not what we would expect from rocket scientists. And the fact that they claim they don't have the technology to make it back to the moon, with all the technical advancements we've made since, is a complete joke. Go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. The problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology. Yes, Don is referring to this technology. What an absolute scam. Let's also look at all these stars in the background. Let's look at them from different angles. They appear to be very visible, even through the combustion flames of the craft. Understanding how the moon, stars, craft, and combustion flames are all perfectly exposed should raise red flags for anyone who understands how to operate a camera. But back to the stars. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Perla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh yeah, yeah. you know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah, the stars. Yeah. It's it's not a black a cool void. Thing. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the there's all the stars there, and the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. Yeah, you can, and there's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see moons. You you see the ga the gas. Uh, Magellan clouds of yeah, the Milky yeah, Way galaxy. Yeah, yeah, you see the Magellanic clouds. Magellanic, see, I, was, yeah. I just wanted the Magellan well, cloud. I don't remember seeing any. Here we are over at NASA.gov, July 20th, 1969. One giant leap for mankind. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Guys, this is a hundred percent fake you can see through the astronauts leg and body guys I don't mean to go on a rant but unless you were sitting staring at your tell a vision you would have never believed this stuff and I'm showing you right here that this stuff is fake and NASA is a complete fraud in this moon landing a lot of people don't understand how susceptible they are to images and moving pictures and the result it has on their brain. However, NASA does understand this completely and has utilized it to its greatest advantage.
If there was one video clip I could bring to court, it would be this one. If you cannot see and understand what you're seeing here, you are completely brainwashed. Here we have a lady, and although she's not from NASA, but rather the European Space Agency, but NASA uses the same scams in their media, she literally has a stuffed animal appear from thin air. Explain this. What they are using is something called augmented reality. The objects are not actually there. And we will now look at a few examples where NASA does the same exact thing. Notice the man with the green shirt reaching for the hat that the blue shirt man is holding. Watch while he stares at the screen in front of him, then continues to take the imaginary hat in 3D augmented reality and set it down on the shelf. This is complete fraud. Here we have a microphone passing from astronaut to astronaut. Again, the microphone is glitching. This is 3D augmented reality. Cables, and uh, so you need all these things to uh, to keep your stuff in place because otherwise. You lose it. It just floats away and it doesn't fall down. Here we have another con artist as he's explaining how things don't fall down in space, that they simply float. Here we have the same con artist continuing with his tour and completely contradicting his statement about how things just magically float away. Listen closely as he drops the nut or screw. And, uh... You need all these things to uh, to keep your stuff in place because otherwise you lose it. It just floats away and it doesn't fall down. Here we have yet another con artist and liar caught red-handed dropping things once again completely destroying their false narrative look into his eyes he is caught red-handed and he knows it stop right there once again the astronauts are completely transparent this is the proof right here. Stop lying to yourself. This is where your tax dollars is going. To a complete fraud. For $23 billion a year, it is a complete insult to their editors. There is absolutely no excuse for this. This is complete fraud. Once again, we have another con artist doing his acrobatics and gymnastics. And once again, turning transparent. This is not a conspiracy. Your eyes are not lying to you. Robbing the American people for billions of dollars year after year is not okay. We are taught at a young age not to judge a book by its cover. Yet we see these huge smiles on these con artists' faces and everyone sits back and enjoys the show. This needs to stop now. If you are tired of your hard-earned money being spent on circus acts, I encourage you to take action today. We the people will not stand behind the lies any longer.